Hello Explorers, welcome back. So, this is the Savings Challenge, vi Savings Challenge video? Yeah, Savings Challenge video. I wasn't sure if I was, this week I planned on doing the games video first, but I think I'm gonna stick to it and just do the Savings Challenges first. Um, this is the Savings Challenge video for July paycheck number two. We have $302 here. Uh, this is for savings challenges as well as games. So, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so 180, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, so 275, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 302 dollars. Let's move all of these. make myself a smaller cash tray for these ones when I never have like 50s or 100s. Okay, so let's get the savings challenge binder down. And I did finally completely split it. This is just savings challenges and the yellow one is just games. And I made dashboards for everything. I'm so proud of myself. We do have a new savings challenge. Um, this one is for games, and my son Wrigley is gonna do this one with us. I think he's asleep, <laughs> but it's good because we're just doing the savings challenge video. So for this one, the way this works is, this is a back to school challenge, so all this money will go into our back to school envelope. This is gonna be my challenge for that sinking fund. And I will pull two cards, and whatever, I'm gonna have him add them, Whatever the total is, is what we save. And I'm also going to try to have him um, pull the money. So that will probably be filmed a little bit like separately. And I will insert that in because obviously I have to set up a little bit different for him to be able to do these. But it's a fun way, especially since we homeschool, it's a fun way to get him involved. He Get him working on his math. And, you know, because I know I can add. It wouldn't be as fun for me, but I figure it's a great learning opportunity for him, practicing his addition, and then practicing his his money skills. Plus, he loves, like, my kids use my binders for counting and adding and subtracting all the time. They, they do so much better with hands-on like that and learning, um, you know, the value of each denomination. So another thing that I changed is um, I wanted to reduce the number of envelopes that I had in here, so... This is now January, February, and March. So this is all of Q1 with the dashboards. They're still divided, just all within one envelope. This is Q2, so it's April, May, and June. And then July is by itself. And I will keep July by itself. And then um, when August comes, August will also be by itself. So I'll wait until the, Q the quarter is over to combine them into one envelope. So that's actually where we're going to start. We are going to add in... Now, I had these set up as though I was doing um, games first. Okay. So, also, if you purchased the Q3 monthly from me, Independence is misspelled on there. I have gone through and email, um, messaged every single person who ordered it with the corrected, the updated copy. Um, so if you haven't seen that, check on Etsy because if you didn't have an email listed, I did have to just message you in Etsy. If you had an email listed, then I emailed it to you. So just so you know, <laughs> 
I did send you the updated, the corrected version, but we're going to put 25 into this one, which means we're coloring in five letters. Okay. Um, I am not going to update mine because I really don't care that it's misspelled, <laughs> but just so you know. I actually didn't even catch it. Somebody else did. So. Okay. That one is complete. Can I get it off the desk? That one is done. Now we're going to move on to this freebie from Donna Powered by Creativity. Lisa Grateful Me and the Crafty Saver. We're going to put $5 into this. If you do $5 a week with them, they save theirs on Fridays. Um, I th think you guys are going to be seeing this on... Actually, you will be seeing this on Friday. If I put things out in the correct order. Um, so, yeah. What color do I want to do? So, I am going to do... I want to do a red right here, so I want to get a dark red. And then I want to get a dark, I want to get a yellow. So I'm going to leave those two open and skip to this one. I almost bought new Sharpies because it's um, Prime Day and I know they're on sale, but I just don't want to spend the money. Oh, I put those in the, I don't like those going that direction, but oh well. So $5 going into the Thanksgiving savings, and this will likely go towards paying for our buffet. So now we have $20 in there. Um, when it's done, if you stick to just the $5 a week, it is or $110, which is enough for us to eat at the buffet. It's actually more than we need. So the extra will just get rolled into probably our holiday savings. Um, I'm going to skip this one and come back to it. Candy corn is going to get $5. So now we have $10 in here. And I actually went through and decided what each envelope is going to be for. This one is going to be for the kids' costumes. Because we did secure the Oogie Boogie Bash tickets. So with the way that I have decided this one and um, each group being $5, it's going to be $3 for the big one, $2 for the little one. Um, so with it being worth that, this tracker will bring me in $100. So now this one. Let's do this one. And we're going to scratch off more than one number this week. So let's finish off this one. I do have some new scratchers that are supposed... They were out for delivery yesterday, but they never got delivered. So I'm hoping they come today. It actually shows that they're going to come today. They were on my informed delivery. So $6, 5 and 6 we're going to do another one, so we'll do this one. So I'm going to put back this one and take a 10. And then let's do one more. Let's just go in order. We'll do this one. $5. I might want to do one more because I kind of gave myself $25 that I could spend on this one. But I think we're going to stick to the three for right now and then maybe we'll... Oop, maybe we'll come back. So that's $20 going into there. So 
in this savings challenge so far, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. And once this one is done, I do have one that's going to replace it. Oh, so this one is going to go towards Christmas. And obviously $100 is not going to be enough for Christmas, so this will get replaced with another one that's for Christmas once it's completed. Sloth and Safari. So Sloth and Safari is going towards our clothing sinking fund. And we're going to do this little $8 guy down here. So five, six, seven, eight, and then we're also going to do this little $8 guy. So let's see, we'll put a 10 and take two ones. And then we're going to do this little $8 guy. We're running out of space for him. All right, and that's all we're going to do this week. So five, six, seven, eight. So in Sloth and Safari, we are putting in... I realized if I didn't change up how much I was doing in some of these, they were all going to get done at the same time, and I don't want that to happen. So we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 going into Sloth and Safari. So now in this one, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 74. And this one also brings in 100 when it's done. Okay. The Beach Huts. We are going to do one door. And put in $5. And when this one is done, it's going to go to home maintenance. Because, I mean, Beach Huts, home. I try to pick things that kind of, like, make sense with the, um... Challenge. This one brings in 150 when it's done, so it has 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39. So yeah, the beach huts are going to go towards home maintenance. Okay. Oh, we didn't do our road trip savings challenge yet. I like to do that one first usually. Okay, so let's see what state we are saving from. Mississippi, $3.24. So we are putting in 30 or 20, 30, one and two. So $32, which means we're going to have a little bit of extra to work with this week because I always budget for 35. Some weeks, the last couple weeks we've gone over that, but that's okay because I kind of budget for each, each one I kind of over budget usually. As usual we don't count that and this one is going to go to my emergency fund I thought about putting it in car maintenance because that would make the most sense with it being gas related but since this one's going to bring in quite a bit of money um, I'm going to put it in my emergency fund someone asked me what states I've been to because I mentioned a lot like oh I haven't been to that state well, I haven't been to Mississippi either um <laughs> So states I've been to, I am from Northwest Indiana, like right on Lake Michigan. Um, I'm from a little town called Chesterton, Indiana, where the world famous Wizard of Oz Festival take, took, takes place. Um, I grew up performing in the Wizard of Oz Fest. It's very near and dear to my heart, Wizard of Oz is. Uh, right over the border to Chicago. 
So I grew up in Indiana. I've worked in Illinois. We grew up having a lake house in Michigan. Um, obviously I've been to Ohio. I have, I almost moved to Pennsylvania. I spent two weeks in Pennsylvania, almost moved there later on. Um, I've been to Kentucky. I've been to Tennessee. I actually almost moved to Tennessee. It's one of my favorite states. My husband and I lived in Florida. So we lived in Miami. I now live in Nevada, actively working on trying to get my husband to move to California because we practically live there half of the year. Um, I've also been to Wisconsin. My dad's side of the family is all in Wisconsin. And in November, I went to Minnesota. So I've added that. And I go to Arizona quite frequently, but if I'm being completely honest, I hate Arizona. My husband loves it there. I do not like it. I am so bored. Like, I, I just, I don't like Arizona. I know a lot of people love it. It is not for me. So, those are the states I've been to, but I'm actively adding more states. Disney is getting $5. This one is obviously going towards our Disney passes. It's not going to bring in a whole lot of money, but I'm not going to pull the money from this. Um, there's now 20, there's now 35 in here. I'm not going to pull the money from this when I complete the first one. I'm going to complete all three. So, I believe each one brings in like a hundred. Yes. Okay. And next we are going to do, I will get to the penny savings challenge, but let's do the gumball first. I was just going to put $3 in there, but since we came in $3 under on um, the road trip challenge, let's put it in there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six going in there. We had to color in two gumballs. And again, on this one, I have absolutely no idea how much it's going to bring in because as I was making it, I could not, I couldn't count them. <laughs> This one, I haven't figured out what I'm going to put this money into. It's going to take a while to complete, so I'll figure it out once it gets closer and I kind of see where I need to be putting money into. As always, we'll come back to that one if we have any random singles left. So now let's get to the penny savings challenge. This one, we are going to put some dollars into this week. And here's why I did a bunch of, I had a bunch of like digital spending this week. So I added up how much I need or how much the change would have been if I would have used cash. And that was, eight, it was actually $9. So let me take that. Um, it was actually $9. So $9 is going into, is going with the eight we had from, um, the last time that happened because when I go to Legoland they don't accept cash um, so there's that so we have nine dollars plus a good amount of change still so nine plus 25 50 $75, $1 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 75, 85, 95, a dollar. One, two, three, four, plus 40. So we have $12.66. Okay, now we're gonna do the other one. Let's close this and put it back. Let's go to this back page. And we are gonna take off $3.52. Take off three dollars and fifty one cents. Three dollars and fifty. And that leaves us with two dollars and thirteen cents. So how many did we do? One, two, three. And four. So four numbers this week. Much better than last week. Because last week's was rough. Okay. So we got that done. Is that it? I believe that is it for the savings challenges. So we don't have any star notes since we just kind of funded our own. I'm not putting anything into the kids savings. Um, these are collab ones. We did the debt one. Oh, you know what we did not do? Mental health matters. I'm going to come back to this one. Okay, so in Mental Health Matters, we are going to put in $3. So, one, two, three. And then I will come back to, in the game video, because um, I allotted quite a bit for Shut the Box. But if I don't use it all, I will come back and I will do what I can on that one. Mental Health Matters is getting $3. And this one I've decided is going into our medical. So now in Mental Health Matters, we have 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. $27. And this challenge brings in $100 when it's complete. This is the one that I struggle with and it's because I didn't create an actual dashboard so the envelope is like super flimsy. The other ones aren't so bad. There we go. All right guys, that is it for the savings challenge video. If you stuck with me and you enjoyed this uh, and you're not subscribed or following, I would truly appreciate that. And I will see you guys back here for the game video. So until next time, bye.